today we're going to be talking about uh, what to do with your elephant ears. I've had so many uh, people asking me, what do I do now? And, uh, well, we've had our first frost here and uh, now's the time to dig them up. We're going to dig up the bulbs and overwinter them. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, uh, let's get rid of some of this. We're going to cut some of this green off, just get it out of our way. I love this machete. And uh, this was this started off as one bulb. We're gonna see what we get. So you want to go down below the bulb so you don't damage the bulb. from this one. So you almost dig it up just as you would a hosta. Get most of the soil off. I'm going to gently try to separate some of these. That's actually a bulb. Maybe we should have started off with a smaller clump for the video. Huge. You know what? We're gonna just lift this up. Stick it up here. I've been digging up elephant ear bulbs all day now. Like I said, this was one bulb, this massive clump. So you just want to try to dig, like, shake off most of the soil. And this is a bread knife. My favorite tool for the garden. Get rid of most of the green. Let's get this out of our way. These cut like celery. These are known as uh, Jack Giants. They're all varieties. There's so many varieties of elephant ears. And some of them you can store the bulbs. Other ones have tubers. So here, here's a bulb right here gonna be a beautiful bulb. So we're gonna shake off most of the soil. I'm gonna let them sit outside for a few days. Maybe I'll put the wheel, the whole entire wheelbarrow in the garage just in case we get another frost. And uh, then I will store these in the basement in a, a pool spot in my basement in a cardboard box. You don't want to put them in plastic because they will uh, they'll rot. So find it if you have a garage that doesn't freeze, you can keep them in the garage, or you can keep them uh, in your basement in a dark cardboard box. And that's it. Happy planting. <laughs>